People just hate Freak for no reason. Since Freak got into office and became part of the balance team, instead of complaining about the balance team, they complain about Freak as a person. It's the same flame, the same thing the league community was always upset about. I don't know. I don't. I don't want. <laughs> hey, listen. I don't want to be like on Freak's dick or anything. Like I, <laughs> this is just something I said. I don't think you should quote me on this. Maybe Freak sees this and he's like, oh, and then he he puts in a Scion buff. Uh, chat, 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 chat. Logging into my account today. Logging into my account. Look what I get. Behavior warning. And this is. I wake up I today to this. Behavior warning. What is this? What is this? You've been reported multiple times for comps abuse. Really? Really? When you're watching my stream, you think I flame. This is what I'm talking about, man. And then people say, you should be banned for inting. Bro, half the times I'm getting banned, people are spam reporting me. I literally got a behavior warning for flaming. I don't even type in chat. I don't even fucking type. People just spam report me because it's fun. This is what I'm talking about, man. People just spam report me. And obviously, I'm being reported for fucking verbal abuse, which I don't even type. And then I get one bad game. And then Riot sees, oh, this guy gets reported perfectly. Permanently, we're gonna ban him. So I'm talking about guys ridiculous man comms abuse. I don't even type in chat <laughs> Guys 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 Ah damn It's just fucking pathetic these guys Champion with W start now. That's big for me. Tank Titan is getting HP nerfs, but ability haste. Good or bad for them? We haven't really looked into changes. I don't really know what you're referring to. He's not level 2. But now he doesn't have Q. Oh boy. Get me, get him, Tristana. Me, get him. Big, thank you, man. Huge. He thought he would hit two mid fight, but the minion never died. So then it, it took too long, and then he had to panic, use E, and then I just win from that. Well, I didn't win, but. He can't kill me anymore. And then Tristana comes. It's chill. <laughs> oh, buddy. Buddy. If I can survive this wave, that's big. Holy! And I'm gonna catch the entire cannon wave. Oh, wow. Oh. One minion, one minion goes off. Don't think I can clear the whole thing. We take those, we take those, we take those. Big, 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 big. That's huge. That's such a huge reset for me because now I'm gonna have TP advantage. E, what is this? Big, what is this maneuver? He's able to freeze it without taking any point of damage. What? All good, all good. I know that was dumb. He's completely out of, out of mana, no mana whatsoever. This one I'm talking about. I have an extra reset on him because I did the proxy strat. Talking about good job. I don't want to lose the plate, so I'm doing something really greedy here. I could do this, honestly. He gets to choose between me or the wave here. We will both still make it to Chal next to Gravis non -Kopia. It's like he lost like <laughs> maybe a minion or two. I think he lost like two minions. Big, 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 big. <laughs> 
Why did why why you do this, Bows? Why you do this, Bows? Well, this gives me a better reset, right? I'm able to get the plate, and now instead of backing off and recalling, I'm already back in lane almost. If I didn't do that thing, right? What I did right there, the wave that I caught would have been catching to my tower, and enemy Pantheon would, uh, you know, I wouldn't be here. Like you get tempo advantage basically with the inting strat. That is a lot easier for me to play the game. Hey, <laughs> what is this wall? What the Okay, that's some new season 14 type of wall shit. What is that? That that what? Why did I crash so in so so early on that one? I don't know where Pantheon is right now. Rexa is fighting grubs. There's Pantheon. Hopefully can lead him away from the wave. Hopefully he loses a lot here. Again, lose a few minions. I get a tempo advantage because I'm level 7. So look how my death timer. Boom! Two second death timer! Rijot! Rijot! Now I have a tempo advantage and because the Pantheon now has to have a reset because I got a reset. If he doesn't get a reset, I'm just gonna beat him. Now, look, look at this guys. I just simply get a plating for free. You do this strat. Okay, I can't get played in. But you do this strat before level 8, always, always tempo advantage. It always goes in your favor, no matter what. That's how I always have a CS lead over my opponent, every game. Ooh, let me just go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Oof. He's gonna snipe me! <laughs> oh my god, him. Oh, he had his E backup. I thought I lost that when he E'd. But I was able to kill him. So Lobolo. So Lobolo. I think I just win now, by the way. I'm simply just more strong than he is. It's a very snowballing matchup. Whoever gets ahead wins. I think I should have helped this guy more. I think I should have helped him a lot more. I, I didn't. I thought he had it, so I could focus on the cannon. But uh, yeah, my bad. Should win this. My team was closer. Stun? You have a stun? He doesn't have a stun. Ah, I should go back top lane. They side here. They haven't got a dragon yet though, so if Lee Sin is top, we can maybe take it. Start up the Krugs with the Pantheon being right there and Lee coming. I already just proxy one wave. I need to tank here. Nice Rek'Sai! Take wave, take demolish, back off. I 
can maybe get a stack. I know about farming jungling Cling. Another stack. Wait, I'm so OP. <laughs> I'm so OP. <laughs> What's going on? I did taking no damage. Why am I not taking any damage? I can tank this, guys. Oh, not anymore. <gasps> nice, we got the Pavian as well. Big. And we secured the Herald. And we won the fight. <laughs> Why am I so OP? No oh, perfect farm. Yeah, I actually am farming, not 10 CS, per, 10 CS per minute this game. It's kinda weird. Been doing a lot of fighting actually. That tends to be the case with Spear Shot because he's so damn aggressive all the time. Always on the aggressive side. Me bot. Get Titanic and boys, 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 boys. I'm kinda big now. I'm kinda big now. I don't want to chase. 5.4k health in 19 minutes. It's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Way above schedule here. Ahead of schedule. Cling, cling. I'm clicking the wrong guy. <laughs> Come on, then. What did you think was going to happen? Might be that here, boys. Pike stack. Ah. Well, it's pretty worth it. Got a lot of kills. Give the shutdown to Pantheon, but got a lot of kills and a lot of stacks. It's pretty worth it. I'm just snowballing my lead out of control this game. I like to sometimes get Sterax over Hullbreaker fourth, but because I can afford a full Hullbreaker, I'm gonna go for it. Kind of wanna split first and then Baron next. Boom! 2k! Let's get out of here! <laughs> We're out! We're out, we're out. <laughs> we think you're the Baron as well. Come on. Come on. Oh shit. Ooh, I think I fucked up. I can't go. He's gonna kill. Okay, I can reset now. I think we can just go top and mid. I go triple inhibitor. Should be free. 7k health. 23 minutes. Oh man. What? Rawr. <laughs> Oh god, heavy damage. Should be fine. Rawr! Give me all the stacks! Oh man! Oh man!
Shout out to Rexar for carrying my lane. I don't think I could beat Spearshot in a 1v1, so uh, what did was a little bit of a jungle diff this game, so he was able to get me ahead.